Fantastical has a brand new feature to simplify scheduling meetings and calls for groups of people. It's called RSVP, and let's check it out. Your first question might be, what exactly is RSVP? RSVP is a fantastical feature that solves a problem of making meetings with multiple people. Say you've set a new appointment in Fantastical and you want several people to attend. Well, now that's a lot easier. You just create an RSVP link in Fantastical and you send it to them. Then they can all independently accept or decline the event. And for those who accept, Fantastical will send them the calendar invite, the meeting details, and everything else they need to attend. And as the meeting organizer, you get a reliable list of who's going to be there and how to contact them. Fantastical even helps you create an email to everybody who's accepted if you need to update or make any changes. Okay, now that we understand why you would want an RSVP, let's get around to how you make an RSVP. It starts with creating an event. Let's say I want to do a sales call Friday morning at 9 o'clock. I'm going to drag out a two-hour event here. I'm going to put it on the uh, work calendar. To set the event as an RSVP, you need to go to the expanded calendar view. Either hit Command-E or click on this little arrow right here. And you can see there is the button right there, RSVP event link. As soon as I click that button, I've got some options and we want to go through those. When the recipients get the link and they click on it, they're going to go to a website and we'll see that in a minute. You can have it show responses for accept, maybe, or decline. If you only want them to see the ability to accept, you can turn these two off. I'm going to leave them all on for our example. Depending on the type of meeting you're scheduling, you may need people to give you their phone number. Well, that is turned off by default, but you could have it optional and request it, or you could have it that they're required to submit a phone number before they get invited to the meeting. I'm going to go ahead and leave that as do not request. Another privacy issue is whether invitees can see each other. The default response is that only the meeting creator can see the attendees, but if you want everybody to see each other, you can click that button right there. That'd be good for something like a neighborhood barbecue so everyone can see who else is attending. But I'm going to leave that as only I can see attendees. And then notifications to the meeting organizer. The default is only after registration is completed. Uh, you could also have it never send you notifications or after each reply. A notification is going to be an email to you. So if you send out invites to 100 people and you have that option, you're going to get 100 emails. So you probably don't want to use that. I think the default setting again after registration completion makes the most sense. Once you get the link, you can use it to enable registration at the event. You can, if you want, limit the number of participants. For example, if you have a Zoom call where you're limited to 100 participants, you could set that right here. And you can also set a registration deadline if you'd like. You can see the default is that the moment the event starts, but you don't have to do that, that's not mandatory. So once you've decided the options you want, you click OK. If you're going to make it a Zoom meeting and you've got Zoom integration turned on with Fantastical, just check that box. It's gonna go ahead and set that meeting up for you. I'll leave the defaults and click OK. And once you're all set and have everything just the way you want, click Add Event. And then Fantastical is going to generate that RSVP link for you. You can see there it is right there. You can also copy it to your clipboard. Just press that button right there and you're done. You can send the RSVP link any way you can send a link, whether it's through a text message or putting it on the company website. Uh, I'm going to send it via email. I've got some recipients for the meeting here. So I'll go ahead and click this last sentence and select it. Now I'm going to add the link. I'll hit Command K and then Command-V to paste it, and that's the link I just got when I created the event. Now I can click OK to embed it, and now I'm ready to send this email. All of my recipients will get the email and be able to RSVP with this link. Each recipient will get an email that looks something like this. I'm gonna go ahead and then click the RSVP button, and that's going to open a page at Fantastical, which shows all the options of the meeting we just set up. You can see on the left side, it's got the details of the call, including the date and time. 
And you'll know I didn't put the date and the time in the email because I knew they would get it once they clicked the link. It's telling you that the meeting is located on Zoom and that I'm the organizer. Now they have the option to attend saying yes, maybe, or no. I'm going to click the yes button. And then I can insert my details right here. Let's say my name is Will Boethius. And his email is will at consolation.com. Now I can submit the response and Will has RSVP'd to my event. You can see I'm the organizer and Will is signed up. You can also see a note that I've hidden other attendees. We discussed that in the settings when we created the RSVP event. For each recipient that confirms, they'll get an email that looks like this. It's going to give them the sales call details and the ability to edit their response. It'll also tell them that there's an attached iCalendar file so they can add it to their event. And you can see there it is right there. They can just click that and add the event to their calendar. Now, as the meeting organizer, I can go back to the event. And the first thing you'll note that it has the little icon and RSVP next to it, letting me know that this is an RSVP link meeting. When I click on it, you'll see that I've already got several RSVPs to my meeting, uh, Fizzle, Lisa, myself, and Will. Again, it shows me the Fantastic Hell RSVP link if I need it. If I want to copy it to the clipboard again, I can do it just by pushing that button right there. If I want to share it, there's a sharing button. And if I want to make any changes, just hit the link configuration button and it brings you right back to that screen we looked at at the beginning. Because I required emails with these links, I have the ability to send an email to anybody who has signed up for it or I could send an email out to all invitees. For example, if you need to make some changes at the last minute or send out an agenda, this is a great option. If I click that button, it opens up a brand new email sent from me to everybody who signed up for it. They are by default put in the blind carbon copy field, so you're not sending everyone's email out to everyone at the meeting, and you can put any notes you need right here in the body and send it off. And all of this works also on the iPhone and iPad. Here I am with Fantastical on my iPhone, just clicking on the event. You can see there is a list of all the RSVPs. I can share the link if I want. I can click on an individual member and either send them an email or email everyone. I can even add the individual RSVP or to my contacts list. So everything I need to do is right there for me. I can also create a new RSVP event right on my iPhone. Just create it like a normal event and then click the show more button. And then if you scroll down, you'll see there's the RSVP event link right there. When you activate it, it opens all the options you see over on the Mac. Scheduling meetings and calls with groups of people has never been easier. To learn more, go to flexibits.com.